Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just a number to Bitcoin. Big up the Coins Kid crew. So I think we could be on the cusp of a major, major move in the crypto markets. And one little signal that has flashed here for the S&P 500, which is a chart you know I brought to your attention a few weeks ago. I said to you to keep an eye on these two charts. It's really important. One was the DSY and one was the S&P 500. Okay, so I think they give the game away. They're sort of foretelling and, and giving us a signal to the future of Bitcoin, basically. Again, not not perm bull, not perm bear, whatever. But right now, the S S&P 500 has printed a very bullish signal that no one's looking at, okay? And I did post this on Twitter today. Providing we can maintain this golden cross just there on a weekly time frame for the S&P 500, I think we could be in for an explosive move here for the S&P 500, a potential wave three, which is going to come up and take out that local high just there. And we're going to put in a new all-time high here for the S&P 500 because this is potentially the bottom of a correction. And what we've got is a one. This is an ABC two, and right now this is a three, which is emerging with subsets of waves of inside of this, okay? So right now this three needs to take out that resistance and like i've always said to you the third wave is the most powerful wave so right now we sort of ran into this resistance we're holding the, the the weekly golden cross at the moment we're above the domains exactly where we need to be in an impulsive move to the upside so right now we've fallen back to this particular support the golden cross and right now if the s&p starts to come up and takes out that high even wherever bitcoin is i would expect bitcoin to catch up basically and then follow through because bitcoin's going to move more violently than this particular chart okay so again it's not bullshit it's not Opium, but this is a particular bullish wave count that I'm looking at. I think that what we've gone through is a five wave correction here. We've got some kind of A, B, C, D, E correction like that. Some kind of five wave correction coming back down to this swing high, okay, and the S&P 500. So you can clearly see we called up, broke out, boom, we come up swing high swing low found support on this previous level of support just there resistance sorry and boom we're moving up the stairs impulsively so to get the confirmation that this is an impulsive move to the upside we need to see this local high broken i did go through this with you a few weeks ago okay keep an eye on this chart because it will give the game away for bitcoin and xrp and all the other crypto projects regardless of what they're doing at the time you know and like i've said to you i think before we do get the massive breakout we are going to see a pullback and that's exactly what we're doing right now we're seeing the big pullback we've got a massive signal in dsy because it's breaking down in its death cross but right now we've got a beautiful golden cross a bullish cross on the s p 500 we've not quite got it on bitcoin just yet but we are on the cusp of creating it okay providing we hold the support so again it's data not emotion not bullshit not hopium it is what it is it's data so currently above the emas here in a golden cross so this is beautiful for the S&P 500, providing we maintain this support going forward, we're looking to break out that high, break that high, take out that high just down the weekly time frame, close above it, boom, you've got your confirmation statement. I think that Bitcoin will absolutely put in a massive wave three because the wave count I'm looking at here for the S&P 500 is a one. This was in a regular wave two, and right now you're in a three. The midst of a three, which potentially can come up something like that towards the end of the year right there, and then boom, we drop. Okay, and like I said to you, this, this move here, this big, big move, is just going to catch everybody off guard. No one expecting it okay and at that point you're going to come in for your bear basically your big nasty bear like i've said to you i would not necessarily be looking to hold on to crypto towards the end of this impulsive move this is an absolute possibility okay because i think it's the end of this bigger cycle they're actually in where we've got this extended cycle for bitcoin um, and it is what it is you know it's a possibility it's not absolutely confirmed obviously we've got support for that but going forward if the s p does this then i i think bitcoin will follow suit okay because obviously the correlation right there so at the minute what we need to see for the S&P 500 is this beautiful signal held, okay, which is a 20 and a 55 EMA golden cross right there. We see that held, then in my opinion, this will break out in a big wave three, take out this resistance, potentially this high, some kind of wave four correction towards the end of the year, and then boom, we go again towards the end of the year, okay, and then that's it, that's it's cooked, and you've got five waves here, okay, for the S&P 500. Possibility. So right now, let's take a look at this golden signal, okay, let's look at this golden signal for the S&P 500. You can clearly see we've got one just here uh, in May. We put one just there as well after everyone's really bearish that big corona dump came back up golden signal see you later came down here golden signal see you later you can see that i think going back to the 40s this signal after a big correction where it's made the death cross followed by the golden cross has never failed this chart okay so we can go all the way back all the way back to the 1940s where you know we last failed a golden cross let's take a look right now where are we 1950 i think we got one just there we got a golden cross made a lower high and then we dropped again so we can go all the way back to the 50s you know it was the last time that this particular golden signal which is a golden cross a 20 and 55 vma weekly golden cross for the s p 500 actually failed this chart okay so the odds are stacked in favor at the moment but again obviously you know there's no crystal ball there's no guarantees but at the moment 
moment, you know, the, the market is still fearful and everyone's projecting to the downside. I know people are still bearish and I completely understand that. But at the minute, the charts are not showing that. They're showing a potential setup for a massive, impulsive move on the S&P 500 and equally, Bitcoin will follow suit because it's correlated, isn't it? And, you know, one thing we need to see is the breakdown in DSY. Let's take a look at the DSY right now, okay? So looking at DSY on the weekly time frame at the moment, you know, this is the inverse correlation to Bitcoin. This is below its EMAs and a death cross. And right now the S&P is above its EMAs and a bullish cross. And we're looking for Bitcoin to hold that potential bullish cross that we should form over the next few weeks. OK, but the most important thing is Bitcoin is above its key EMAs, which signifies an uptrend. This is below its key EMAs, which signify a downtrend. So until this reverses, Bitcoin's looking bullish to me. OK, and the minute I see a toppy signal or some kind of, you know, reversal pattern or a big bearish pattern on bitcoin then i will update you obviously but i think at the moment we're just coming up with stairs impulsively coming back correctively and so on and so forth so i remain bullish on bitcoin it doesn't make me a perma bull perma bear whatever i just think that bitcoin's looking pretty tasty okay and we've got a lot of uh, confluence in other charts right there okay so at the moment i think bitcoin is going for a correction so i think until we start to see a reversal pattern on this and i've gone through this many times with you before you know we get really oversold down here possibly free trend line touches on this trend line as well towards the end of the year like we did here okay and that big big correction just there and equally that big correction just there as well which were only opportunity in the crypto markets and i've gone through this with you multiple times 2017 was a massive time for crypto especially bitcoin just there 2020 leading into 21 was a huge huge impulsive move for bitcoin and you know the all of crypto basically so i think that we're going through exactly the same scenario right now and we can't ignore it it's data not emotion let's dive into the bitcoin chart and see where the key support levels are for bitcoin okay so looking at Bitcoin on a weekly time frame, I think at the moment we are going for a correction. I think that if we start to lose all this support here, these EMAs, start to turn all this into resistance once more, then this projection, this sort of theory that I've got will be out the window, basically. And, you know, it'll be short lived and we've got this beautiful impulsive move and then potentially got some kind of corrective move coming back, which could last for quite a long time, to be honest with you. So this sort of, you know, the move that I'm looking at right now, we've got a one, we've got a two, and then we've got a big three and four and five, some kind of big, big move this year for Bitcoin will actually sort of go out the window okay and, and it is what it is you know it's a theory that will be lost basically because i'm looking at a very similar situation uh for bitcoin that we got just there you know it's strikingly similar at the moment i'm going to go through this with you for those that are new to the channel is basically on the rsi what we did here if you take a look at this low which is pretty much down here okay and then we look at this corona dump just there pretty much down there so what we did we ramped up consolidated and broke into this level in the rsi so we did exactly the same here we ramped up consolidated and broke into this level on the rsi so at this point here what we did we went through an abc correction back down to this level of consolidation which was this consolidation in the rsi came down abc and then boom bolted like an absolute you know beast bitcoin was and the entire crypto markets but at this point here what we did get is a confluence to this particular massive impulsive move was the dsy def cross and this is exactly what we've got in this potential impulsive move which is beginning right now so i'm just looking at the setup perfect setup at the moment we've got a lot of confluence in the rsi and the price action obviously and in the dsy and the s p 500 printing that beautiful bullish cross so if we start to come back in an abc then we need to keep an eye on this level here okay this level of consolidation where this Sending triangle cord up and broke out because you can clearly see what we did we got a god candle there fell back to support and went god candle just there fall back to support and go so until we start to break down below these emas we're looking for a retest of this neckline okay before going again so i'm keeping an eye on that now that level i did give you in a previous update but it's simply that red line two four two nine seven that's where i actually have some bids uh, right now on buy bit for bitcoin okay and it really is that simple so there is a possibility that corrections in because everyone's expecting this 25k retest but there is a little bit of a bearish pattern that's emerging right now for bitcoin on the weekly time frame i'm going to show you uh it's possibly some kind of descending triangle and it could kind of pave way to the fact that we have got this abc correction at play right here okay so what we've got is this level of resistance and right now you could say okay we've got that level of support and what we've got is a little descending triangle so from there to there if bitcoin does start to break down you can clearly see how it could push down towards this red line and what we would have here is some kind of macro abc for bitcoin some kind of a some kind of b some kind of c wave correction all the way back down to that red trend line which would you know everyone's expecting that could actually happen now one thing we don't actually want to see is the closures below this yellow line so we can wick down to it but providing we don't start to close below the yellow line which is a weekly 20 ma and in the rsi as well providing we don't lose this structure here this support we do something like that then you know we could be looking for a simple abc back down support and go again let's come down an abc 
and go again and we could be exactly where we were just there okay if you take a look for Bitcoin in the price action as well we've got that ABC correction back down to 20 EMA and bolted and we've got exactly the same scenario here back down to this consolidation before we bolted so you know it is kind of lining up at the moment isn't it so until it doesn't I have to project for this okay and I think that you know if we do get this particular pull back into that support it could be an amazing opportunity not just a Bitcoin but on lots of altcoins as well and I'll keep you updated as best as I can okay hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned and remember you can buy and buy beat you can buy and mix it's entirely up to you if you do go in don't go in with your life savings don't over leverage and don't be a degen but yeah we could be looking at an abc at the moment but there is a possibility that the the correction's done but you know i'm trying to find confluence as best as i can in the rsi for you right now so it, it looks strikingly similar doesn't it take care everyone back soon with another update on bitcoin stay healthy stay strong stay tuned Bye bye